Hello everyone and welcome to my first FIFA 21 video of 2021. Uh, I hope you all had a wonderful, well, we all had a shitty 2020. I hope you all have a great 2021 and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, well, different for me. I'm going to look through all of the objective player, uh, anything they put in today because we're expecting like a huge content drop for the new season. So I'm going to go through all the season stuff, all the progression stuff look through it all comment on it um and yeah if you guys do enjoy the video make sure to like comment subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can figure out when i upload videos because i still don't know um but yeah once it hits one we are going to be looking at or 6 p.m depending on where you are um sorry for my voice you know new year's okay so it's one now let's see there should be headliners. Okay, we can't connect to Ultimate Team. That's good. That's exactly what we wanted. There should be headliners, the new season. Okay, we got Fabinho. I didn't see Yao Felix and Bruno. Oh, and Cunha is the... Okay. Themed objective, Marcus Cunha. He actually kind of fits in my team really well. All right, well, we'll see if I can eventually actually get into Ultimate Team. But once we do, we'll take a look at all the headliners uh the new season players hopefully they'll put in some new milestones okay we got fabinho yao felix and bruno which does this mean bruno's not getting a team of the season i feel like it might mean bruno's not getting a team of the season let's look at these uh this item release first because i think that's the thing we're all the most interested in i am shocked that chuki lozano is not one of these players but it's fine, I suppose. Okay, so we got Bruno, Fabinho, Ben Yedder, shocker. Oyazabal, Zaha, Yao Felix, Bamba, Mkhitaryan, Fradeki, Interigar, and Amavi. Very interesting. I mean, obviously Bruno is going to be nuts. Ben Yedder is going to be nuts, if, especially if they win their games. That whole first row actually is going to be really, really solid. I haven't used Oyazabal this year, but... And a center forward Mkhitaryan for my Serie A team. That's that's a pretty good set. That's a pretty good set. I didn't know Hinteregger had such high shooting. But he actually looks like he might be a pretty good CD. Uh, his dribbling is bad. But um, we're also going to have some rewards later tonight on stream to open. I'm going to open all my packs probably. I only have 11, but uh, if you guys want to see that, if you're interested... Ooh, we got a Christian Pulisic! All right, let's look at the, uh, let's look at the season objectives. Um... But yeah, if you guys are interested in that, make sure to stop by the channel on Twitch. It's in the description. We also got headliners Mateus Cunha, which I don't know how Hertha are doing this year. Um, there's a live foot friendly headliners challenge. So let's see what that entails. Minimum of seven leagues, max chemistry. Okay, that teams are going to be absolutely stacked in that game mode. So that's going to be fun. Um, so yeah, he doesn't look too hard. Score using Bundesliga players, win four, assist using a through ball, score and assist using Brazilians. So I might just use a bunch of Brazilians and score an outside the box goal. That's not going to take very long for Cunha. We got a lot of new icon swap sections. So we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got ten more. So I'm probably going to do that mid icon pack once I finish all these. Um, squad, oh my goodness. Win 18 weekend league matches. So we're not going to be able to finish all of our tokens right away, which is kind of frustrating. But wow, that's a lot of squad battles. Um, I mean, I'm going to do it, but I know a lot of people are not going to want to do that. Um, and then we got the Premier League for Alan and the La Liga one and One Nation. Only English players and only Brazilian players. So there's a lot of Brazilian objectives right now. Um, but those aren't too bad, I guess. And they're not good. Let's see if they put in any new milestones. <sighs> they didn't. They didn't. Okay, so let's go through the season. 75 rated premium gold pack. Nothing matters on that page. That circuit board ball is actually kind of cool. It looks very much like a FIFA 20 ball. Uh, all right, none of these are cool yet. We're getting a lot of ice-themed things, which I don't know about. 
Alright, so we can get Duncan to Yob or Bakambu, who's probably going to be everyone's super sub. But I might actually take Duncan for a serial team. I don't know. These three, I mean, they're all going to be behind the power curve. Realistically, maybe I'll... I don't know. I don't know who I'm going to take from that. None of them look too enticing. Rare gold packs. Rare election player packs. We get some mega packs towards the end of the season. Um, but honestly, most of this is pretty useless. Okay, we got Pulisic. Four star, four star, medium, medium, which, eh. His stats, dribbling's crazy, passing is, eh. He's, like, kind of already behind the power curve. Um, I'll probably take him just in case I do, like, an American team. We got Playa. Shocker, we got a Playa card when Headliners came out, just not Headliners Playa again. Um, He's also four star, four star. He looks okay. He probably looks better than Pulisic. Um, and Emerson who is the lowest rated, but I think he might be the second best right back in La Liga now. So I think that actually might be a really good pick as well. High attacking work at medium defensive might be a little bit of an issue, but other than that, I mean, his, stat, his passing is really good for a, for a fullback. Uh, pace, defending, physical is all pretty good. We don't really care about the season cards. By the time, I mean, by the time we get to the end of the season, is anyone really going to use him? Oh, actually, we'll check teams, too. There might be a new teams thing. Or I can just claim my rewards. Oh, yeah, premium gold pack. Let's go. Okay, no teams. Wow, that's a long time until the next one, apparently. Um, but yeah, I guess... Is that everything? Is that everything they put in? I think it might be. I want to take another look at these headliners. Let's see if they change how it works. Um... Four consecutive domestic wins. They'll get another inform upgrade. And remain two inform upgrade. Okay. So, there is going to be a second team of headliners. We do have that Cunha. <gasps> ah, I gotta get fodder. I don't know if you guys saw what I just saw. Um, We got an Iron Robin. Only an 88. Little disrespectful. I mean, I honestly don't care about the stats. I'm probably going to do this card. Five star, two star, medium low work rates. Like he doesn't have, oh my God, look at the, oh my God. All right, let's see. I would say an 83 is what I would want this to be, but I'm sure it's like an 86. It's an 85. That's kind of nuts for a player from like a not very linkable league, but it's Iron Robin, so I'm probably gonna do it anyway. And I don't think we got anything else too crazy. Uh, nope, doesn't look like we got anything else. I am excited to... No icons either. So yeah, I guess that's all the stuff for the new update. Um, I'm excited to go through all these icon swaps, open my base or mid pack, and then stack up my other packs for team of the year. I'm probably going to open the packs I have now just for headliners. And see, I don't, I don't really know who we want. Out of out of the new headliners, I mean, obviously we would love a Bruno. Any of those players, that center back Fabinho kind of looks decent. Actually, let's look at some of their stats. That's kind of that's something that I'm interested in. Hopefully, they're on footbin by now. Been rambling for a little while. We should be able to get them on footbin. New players, okay. Let's look at all these. I shouldn't have opened the goalkeeper, but okay. So Cunha. Our objective player is four star, four star. He's got flair, leadership trait. Uh, I kind of his stamina is pretty low, but if he gets a couple upgrades, this card actually kind of looks good. Shot power is a little low for me. His passing is a little low for a cam. I mean, if Hertha win, I mean they're gonna probably beat Schalke, but it's not a crazy card. Might be fun to use if you've got a Bundesliga side. But I don't. Uh, Amavi. Looking like a very standard left back. He looks like he'd be a really good CDM. Again. Uh, a defensive CDM. But. I mean. Not that I don't really care. I don't care. Oh, Hinteregger. Hinteregger is very interesting because. I didn't. I don't. His shooting's very good. I don't know why his finishing would be 70. 
I mean, let's put him at striker. He's an 81 striker. Um, I mean, realistically, you'd put a shadow on him. He doesn't look awful. His agility and balance are not great. But his composure and reactions are good. His jumping's very good. His defending. And his pace, his pace isn't good. But his next upgrade would be an 86 if they win, if they win four in a row, which they, they probably will at some point. Gets another upgrade to 87. I mean, we'll see with Hinteregger. We just need to hope he scores a lot of goals for that upgrade. Yao Felix, obviously one of the headlining cards, literally selling for a million coins, which is kind of crazy. Um, I mean, obviously Atletico are going to win four in a row at some point. Um, as you guys can see, I only put Shadows and Hunters on my players. But yeah, I mean, you guys know Yao Felix, five-star, four-star. He's just, he's just going to be solid, and he's probably going to get plenty of upgrades. Shredeki. Cool. So Henrik Mkhitaryan, he low-key might make it into my team. Uh, his dribbling is very good. His stamina is not good again. His passing is very good. Long passing is not great, but his passing is good for a cam. I mean, if you guys throw a hunter on him, like one upgrade, he's going to have basically max pace. Roma are going to win four in a row at some point in Syria. Um... This card actually, this might be a little bit of a sleeper, this card. But you, you need a Serie A team to use them, obviously, because there's no links. Although a lot of people have icons right now, so maybe it wouldn't be too hard to link them in. Just close them off on part of your team. Then we got another Bomba card, who looks significantly better than his player of the month. So, rip player of the month owners. His dribbling stats are insane. His passing stats are kind of, eh. What would we put on this guy? We honestly we need to boost passing. Um, his crossing is just so bad for a winger. I don't know. Bamba is one of those cards that he always looks really good until I use him, and there's just something off. Like obviously his dribbling feels great, but he has such low stamina. You're gonna have to sub him off. His shooting's great, but I mean his passing's terrible. And I actually really value high passing players this year Zaha is going to be another one that's just going to be I don't know if Palace will win four in a row at any point during the season but there's a decent chance and man even with a basic I just he's got five star skills and he's in the prem people are going to use him he's going to get abused um his 86 in form is like insane it's another one of those cards that like you can't I don't really know why he's just really good <sighs> Ben Yetter Definitely did not want a Ben Yetter this good this early in the year. I mean, look at that. Basically perfect pace and dribbling. Perfect shooting. Passing, 87 short passing, so good enough. His curve is decent. Does he have uh, outside the foot and flare? Don't really need outside the foot with five-star skills, but... Uh, five-star weak foot, but... I mean, literally the only downside to his card is stamina. That's it. Everything else about him is pretty damn good i mean his long shots aren't good but i think you'll survive long shots don't really need to take them this year with how how good through balls are um or yaza ball with one upgrade he'll basically be the same exact thing as his player of the month card um pretty boring i mean a three star three star winger i don't really care fabinho center back this one is uh, it's another one like he's de they're definitely going to win four in a row at some point uh, starting now though um, it's just another one of those cards that like by the time he gets upgrade I mean he's going to be worse than Joe Gomez probably for the rest of FIFA so I don't know how much it really matters unless he gets a few informs and gets those upgrades I don't know we'll see and then here Probably the best player in the whole thing. So his player of the month. Again, basically the same card. So this, I mean, this Bruno card, which I think means he's not going to be in team of the season, which means hopefully Joshua Kimmich is in. Maybe even Mueller, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I mean, you guys know Bruno. You've come up against him many times. 99 stamina. I would personally put a shadow on him because his 
Play him at a box to box as a box to box center mid. Perfect stamina, perfect passing, very, very good dribbling. And then very good defending as well. I mean, defensive awareness 82 and interceptions 89 is pretty damn good for your attacking CDM. And four star, four star. Man, if we can if we can get a Bruno. If we can get a Bruno opening our packs tonight, that's gonna be something else. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if I missed anything, anything else that they put in the game, anything else you guys would want to see next time. I'll probably do one of these videos every time a new season comes out. Uh, also, let me know if there's any specific videos you want to make on any of these, want me to make on any of these players, because I'm totally down to do that. I mean, I probably won't be able to afford Bruno, but anyone else? <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.